like when people do you wrong and you don't retaliate you just go on about your life you keep your peace <sighs> whatever happened happened but you keep your peace you don't have to get nobody back bro you don't have to get her back you don't have to get him back you don't gotta get any of your enemies back because God knows what happened to you and if you can stay true to yourself through all the BS you're gonna get rewarded heavily heavily there's something so powerful about staying in your frame there's something so powerful about remaining true to who you are and living your life the right way doing what God wants you to do there's something very 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 powerful about it bro there's nothing better in the world than feeling good and you can't feel good if you're seeking revenge in ways where it's like I'm gonna get them and all this kind of stuff you can't feel good you can feel good by taking your licks and then coming bouncing back without even doing anything wrong you might think short term you want to get them back or something like this but you don't bro I'm gonna tell you what you want you want to feel good you want to feel stable you want to be successful you just want to do the right things in life. You don't want to do any of those things. That is the devil, bro. And there are things in times in life where things can set you off. Things can get to you. But that's where you have to remain super strong. And see the light in those dark times. As hard as it might be, you have to, bro. Too many people in life, they get done dirty. And they go down this crazy, crazy, crazy path. They start to do drugs. They start to get into alcohol. They knock some chick up. They do this. They do that. They're gone crazy, bro. They're gone absolutely crazy. I, I, had, I had old friends that took this path. There's a guy just like me. He was an honest, hard-working guy. He was on his way to playing professional hockey. <laughs> and things happened to him, man. Things happened in his personal life with family. Things happened with his ex-girl. He got screwed. And it was enough to put him down these miserable paths. He started to not excel in hockey. He started to suck. He knocked up some random girl. And then he did it again years after that with another chick. And now he's not with both of them. Life can go crazy, bro, if you don't, if you don't keep your shit together. Things happen to all of us, man. Things happen to me. Things happen with me and an ex, and things happen personally with me and the personal life as well. With family and everything else, things got real toxic for a long time with me, bro. I didn't go off the rails. I did the complete polar opposite. I stayed strong. I stood in my frame. I stayed solid. I stayed myself. I didn't let these things traumatize me to death. I took it all, bro. I took it like a champ. I took it like a winner. You'll be so blessed beyond measures, bro. You have no idea how blessed you can actually be. And trust me, God knows what happened to you. He wants to bless you, but he don't want you going down these crazy paths. Because those things will temporarily make people feel good and all this, but <laughs> it's not good. 
It's the devil, bro. I've cut off so many people I used to know. So many people. Some people is going to block your blessings more than you'll ever imagine, bro. And you don't know until you know it. I, I feel so good right now, bro. Like, I continue to cut people out to this day, and it's, it, it's amazing. People don't realize how messed up they actually are. Some people don't understand how messed up they actually are. They're not willing to battle their demons. They're not willing to fight their demons. They let all these things just... I don't even know what to say. Like, they're just crazy, bro. I don't even know how they are how they are. It baffles my mind. Is it a lack of intelligence in, in, in your brain as to why, like, you're not doing the right things? I, I don't know what's going on with people, bro. To me, it's not her. It's not her to do the right things. It's just simply not. I've done some of the hardest things in my life. I've kicked addictions before. Nothing too severe. I kicked a nicotine addiction before whenever I was younger. That was one of the harder things I've done. But I've done it. And I've done it easily. Felt hard while I was doing it, but it was easy at the end of the day because I, I just did it. It's not like I got back into it and oh my God, it was this crazy time. I just did it, bro. I cut off toxic friends, which could be an addiction for a lot of people. Some people's like, yeah, I'm hanging out with these people. They're not the greatest, but I'm still with them and all this, but they're giving me problems, bro. Cut them off. Like, what are you stupid? What are you doing? It baffles my mind how people are not intelligent enough to actually do the right things, but I don't know what it is about me. I don't know if I'm blessed. I don't know. I, I definitely know I'm blessed, but it's like, is there that many people in the world that's not blessed? I don't know. I, I can take a lot, bro. I can take a lot of pain and keep pushing forward. I recommend that for everybody. Feel the pain, keep going forward. If you're going through, if you're going through things right now, that's good. That's a sign that you have to keep going through those things. Don't back down. Don't back off. Go straight through those things. And, you know, we always we always have these challenges we have to face. I'm facing challenges today as we speak. I mean, I should be way bigger than I am right now. Way bigger. But I'm not going to sit around making excuses. I'm going to continue to put in the work. I should be a voice for every single damn person on earth, I feel. I feel I'm at a level right now on my, of my own. I feel like there's people way bigger than me right now that I feel way better than. I'm not going to lie. I genuinely feel that way, and it's not delusion, it's it's the truth. And you know, some people get things so easy, but then there's a big fall for them. I'm going steady all the way up, bro. And you're always going to get rewarded for, for who you really are when it's all said and done. Things don't happen overnight. We always see certain things and they will come to pass. I've always saw certain things and they will always come to pass. And for the things that we see, it was not meant to happen. Some things we see, not meant to happen. But for the things that are meant to happen, they will happen, bro. They will happen. I was not an overnight sensation. I was not an overnight hit lightning in the bottle. We gonna hit lightning in a bottle, but we ain't those overnight people that hit lightning in a bottle and they just struck up to the top. Because those people always fall down, bro, and have all these problems. They can't handle what's to come because they don't build themselves up the right way and by the time they get it, they're, they're not ready for it. There's a reason for everything, bro. But with that being said, nothing happens by accident, man. God sees everything. What God wants happen, what God wants to happen, will happen, and that is what you have to understand. That is what I understand. 
there's a reason why you are where you are right now. There's a reason why things are going on in your life right now the way they are. Everything's supposed to be happening. Things are changing very quick, man. Life is changing very quick. And you have to evolve with life. You have to continue to face your personal challenges the way you're facing them. It's what you have to continue to do. I help every I, I help people every single day with different challenges. Some people do need a little bit of guidance, some people do need a little bit of help. I personally always felt guided. I personally always felt helped naturally. I don't know if it's because I'm a life path number 33. Master number, master teacher. I'm not sure. But I can. I feel like there's someone guiding me all the time. I feel like I have about two or three bodies in one. Don't ask why. I just... I feel that way. I feel very powerful. I feel like I'm a very powerful human being. All for the greater good. And I want so many people in this world to see the light. I want so many people to feel more peace. I want so many more people to feel like they're in the right places doing the right things. We need better people in this world. We need more leaders in this world. There's not enough to go around. But as time keeps going on, I, I believe we will get more leaders. I believe better things will happen. And... It's time for people to wake up, man. It's really that time for people to wake up, 100%. And see life for what it really is, because most people learn way too late. Like, way too late. Looking at myself in a third-person form, it's kind of crazy that I am who I am, doing the things I'm doing. It is crazy. I don't even know why myself. But I do know one thing. I listen to God, bro. And you have to as well. That higher that higher self inside of you is God. That 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 big 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 voice. That thing that allows you to feel great. That thing that your higher thoughts. It's not your doubts. It's not your lower moments. That's all the devil, bro. And he's going to come around. He will attack. But you have to always remember who you are. All the time. Even when the attacks come. That's what's going to set you apart. From everybody else. And I'm just looking so forward, bro. I'm looking so forward to the future. It's not even funny. The truth is going to be revealed. The truth is going to be revealed. Bodies will hit the floor. People will rise. People come in and out of your life for a reason, man. Some people might not see you as the biggest blessing right now, but they're going to they're going to be very very sorry when they they had the opportunity to do something with you, bro. And now they don't have the opportunity to do something with you anymore. There's going to be a lot of sorry people in this world. And like I said, man, don't be the one that's rewarding bad behavior. If people want to take you for granted, let them, <laughs> let them go ahead and do that. Because people should be stuck in their ways. It's about being open-minded. You're willing to give, you're willing to receive, you're willing to win. Because that's how winning is done. The more you give, the more you receive. Straight up. So guys, make God proud. That's all you have to do. And you're not going to make him proud by getting off track. By doing the wrong things. By having bad habits. That's all the devil. You're addicted to certain things. That's the devil. It better be something good. Be addicted to drinking water. 
Don't be addicted to alcohol. It's trash. Nicotine, trash. People need that stuff to make themselves feel a certain way. People go to those things to make themselves feel a certain way. And it's ridiculous. They're dealing with stuff that they can't really deal with. They don't want to deal with it. You have to deal with things the right way, bro. You have to allow yourself to feel that pain. Like, really feel the pain. Because if you don't, you're making a big mistake. You are making a big, big mistake. So many people that... <laughs> such shameful people. You can't feel what's going on with you. You have to feel what's going on with you. You have to feel it all. You have to grow through it all. Become a better person. Become more blessed. Because that is exactly what it's going to do. It's going to bless you. I went through things that people couldn't even imagine. I went through the type of things that people do not come back from. I went through the type of things that people crumble under. I don't crumble. I don't crumble. You can hit me with a truck, bro, and I'll get up and I'll just look at you with a straight face. <laughs> I played softball before, bro, and someone picked up a ball and threw it and batted the ball, and it literally drove me right in the eye. And I just stood there. People was like, looking at me like I was about to die or something. I was about to get knocked out or something or just like fall or panic or go crazy. I just looked. Didn't say a word. Just cold. And then it just started to swell. <laughs> Deal with your shit the right way, bro. Deal with your stuff the right way. Make God proud. Don't crumble, don't fold. Do what's right. God don't make mistakes. People that do you wrong, they're weak. People that try to take advantage of you, bro, they're weak. They're all weak. People who play games with you, they're weak. They're playing games because they're they're scared. They're not confident to talk to you like a like a normal damn person. They're weak. They're playing games because they're scared. That's what people do. So many people today are playing games because they're all scared. You're all scared. Fear. <laughs> I'm out for now.